This is an ABC 36 News update. I'm Tom Kenny. Road crews all across the state getting ready for snow. Pulaski County, for example, has 800 tons of salt ready, and they expect to use at least a third of it on Friday. So they're going to be treating and plowing as fast as they can. Uh, people need to stay out of their way for safety purposes and just to give them more room to do their job. The snowstorm that's headed this way is going to be moving south to north. So southern Kentucky will get more snow than central Kentucky, and it'll be starting in the afternoon on Friday. Now, before you head out, you can check 511.ky.gov for the latest road conditions where you live. A man who committed one of Lexington's most notorious murders has been in trouble with the law again in another state. Shane Ragland, who now lives in Pennsylvania, served three months in jail after he was found guilty of driving under the influence last year in Pennsylvania. Police say his blood alcohol level was three times over the state's legal limit. Well, back here, after years of trials, appeals, and legal wrangling, Ragland eventually pleaded guilty in the shooting death of U.K. football player Trent DeGero. Ragland shot him sniper-style on the front porch of a home as DeGero was celebrating his 21st birthday. A U.K. student's been found dead in his dorm room. The police chief says 18-year-old Zachary Curtis was found unresponsive by his roommate just after 10 last night. The roommate tried CPR and called 911 but was unsuccessful. Investigators tell us that foul play is not suspected. Some state employees say budget cuts are hurting them and you. State employees rallied at the Capitol on Thursday on behalf of workers all across the state. They say they're having to endure small pay raises, increased workloads, and higher health insurance costs over the last few years. We need our legislators, our governor, our senators, everybody to know that state employees have taken the brunt of the cuts and we can't take any more. Rally organizers also met with state lawmakers and they pushed for bills that would increase employee safety and service to communities. Advocates for the homeless all across the state are trying to get an accurate number of how many people are homeless in Kentucky. On Thursday afternoon, men and women were invited to Central Christian Church in downtown Lexington where they could fill out a form and get a hot meal. It's part of the annual point-in-time count. It's going to give the state a better idea of how many don't have a home. Accuracy of the number is important because it's without showing how many we really have, then we are funded, we're funded at a lower level. Volunteers will do more counting tonight. That is our report. You can always get the latest, including the latest weather, online. Our address is WTVQ.com.